Welcome to Trojan Tips, Trojan Battery's information segments designed to expand and enhance your deep cycle battery knowledge. I'm Vicki Hall, Director of Quality Assurance and Technical Services for Trojan Battery Company, and I'll be your host. Today we will be discussing proper battery maintenance techniques and watering your flooded deep cycle batteries to ensure optimum performance and maximum life. Whenever working around batteries, it's always important to wear proper personal protective equipment, eye protection and hand protection. When cleaning batteries, you should use a solution of baking soda and water, and you should use a wire brush. You want to ensure that the vents are properly seated prior to starting any maintenance to ensure this cleaning solution does not enter the battery. You'll apply the baking soda and water solution to the terminals and the connections and the surface of the battery to neutralize any corrosion and acid that may be left on the top of the battery. When you're done cleaning, you need to rinse the top of the battery and use paper towels or a cloth to ensure you dry the top of the battery to remove any cleaning residue. It is also important to ensure that your terminal connections are tight. You want to be sure not to over torque the terminals as this can cause terminal breakage. You also do not want to under tighten your terminals as this can cause a loose connection, high resistance and possible terminal meltdown. When your terminals have been cleaned and tightened, it's important to put an anti-corrosion spray or a silicone gel on the terminals to resist corrosion. A very important part of any battery maintenance program is the addition of water. A deep cycle flooded battery will lose water during the charge cycle, so it is important to replenish the water that is lost. The frequency at which you will add water to the battery will depend on your use, so it's recommended that you monitor the electrolyte levels in your batteries every two weeks to determine the frequency which is right for your application. Distilled water is recommended to be added to your batteries as it does not contain any impurities which may impact the life and the performance of the battery. When watering batteries, you remove the vent, again making sure that there's no electrolyte that splashes on you. You look inside the cell and you add the appropriate level of water to each cell making sure that the final electrolyte level is one-eighth of an inch below the bottom of the vent well. You would repeat that procedure for all of the vents and when you're complete, reinstall the vent, making sure you hear that nice tight snapping sound to ensure the vent is in proper position. Manually watering batteries can be messy and difficult, so single point watering systems have been designed to make it easy. This is a single point watering system manifold called Hydrolink, which has been designed by Trojan Battery Company. This is designed to replace the current vent on your battery and when connected properly will automatically deliver the proper level of water to your battery. Simply remove the rubber plug on top and connect the port from either the snake tubing or the universal tubing that comes with the kit. You would connect this to the other batteries in your application connect this to either a hand pump or a regulated hose supply and within 30 seconds you have watered your batteries all equally easily and without mess. The important thing to remember when watering your batteries is when to water. You should never water a battery that has been discharged. You only should add water to a battery that has been fully charged and the reason is the electrolyte level will rise in the battery upon charge and if you've overfilled it it will come out of the battery and you will lose electrolyte and that will impact the performance of the battery. You should never let the electrolyte level in your battery go below the top of the battery plates as that will cause harm to the plates and also impact the performance of your battery. Battery equalization is an important part of any battery maintenance program. Equalization is an overcharge that's conducted on flooded batteries after they have been fully charged. You should never equalize a valve regulated battery. Stratification occurs when the density of the electrolyte is heavier at the bottom of the cell than at the top and this can impact battery performance. So Trojan recommends an equalization charge be conducted every 30 days. The equalization process is conducted by setting the charger setting on your charger to equalization. What will happen at this point is your battery will begin to gas. Don't be alarmed. This is normal. And at this point you should read the specific gravity every hour until the specific gravity ceases to rise and you should then stop the equalization charge. 
If your charger doesn't have an equalization mode, you can also perform equalization charging by unplugging your charger and plugging it back in on a fully charged battery. Some chargers on the market today come pre-programmed with equalization charges to be conducted every 30 days. You should always consult your battery manufacturer's charging specifications for their recommendations. By gaining a clear understanding of the requirements for properly maintaining flooded batteries and committing to a regular maintenance schedule ensures that your deep cycle batteries, regardless of their application, will continue to operate at peak levels of performance and reliability. Always be sure to read the manufacturer's user's manuals, which should provide important information on installation, maintenance, troubleshooting, and storage. Thank you for joining us today. To learn more about deep cycle battery maintenance, also be sure to visit Trojan Battery's website to read more about battery technology and other useful battery information.